racing to the 2020 Belmont Stakes and let's take a look back beneath the Twin Spires it was the Matt Wynn Stakes on Saturday and after a long layoff it was Maxfield the 6-5 to five favorite in the race he prevailed after a wide trip kind of shifting course down the lane and picking up a big victory over New York Central Pneumatic the recent winner at Oaklawn Park he finished third and overall, I thought the race by the top three finishers were all pretty strong indicators that they are probably in the top 25 horses of this three-year-old crop. Taking a deeper dive into Max Field's performance, of course, uh, he had won the Keeneland Futurity in his second lifetime start. And that was just three weeks after picking up the big, swooping wide maiden victory last fall. And so he was two for two at the time. He beat uh, Governor Morris in the... Greenland, uh, Keeter, uh, Keeneland Breeders Futurity, then was starting to train for the Santa Anita the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and injured himself, was on the bench for quite a while, and it looked like he was going to kind of miss the Kentucky Derby the way it originally was. There was kind of, you know, he got a few workouts in. They said for a while they would possibly consider maybe running in the Arkansas Derby and then trying to make the Kentucky Derby, but I'm not sure they would have really done that. So the extra time definitely parlayed into his advantage. He picks up uh, 50 points in the mat win towards the Kentucky Derby, so he now has 60. And again, kind of out of the gate, he showed a little bit more speed than he did in his two races as a uh, juvenile and was about four wide going into that first turn. And what that allowed is he kept kind of the other two horses, attachment rate and fed biz, wider than him. And then he kind of dropped back, established his position, went as far back as seventh place as the pace was really slow and the horses were bunched up. There was eight horses within four or five lengths going into the turn, but he made that nice move and then kind of New York Central in the center of the track kind of pulled away. Pneumatic was digging in at the rail and then Maxfield really kicked it in gear and he had to shift out a little bit as New York Central came out on him, but he picked up the victory and not much of a gallop out, but they really pulled him up sharply. So I think the plan was to get him in, get the race done and see how he comes out of it. Meanwhile, New York Central ran another strong race. You know, he's proven he's at this level. He can, uh, that speed is always going to be honest and he's a game horse. You know, it just seems like the last three races he's found somebody one horse better than him, but in this race he definitely fought off Pneumatic and those two kind of battled around, although the fractions were a little bit slow, so maybe that might have parlayed into him showing kind of a gutsy finish. The overall stakes flow of these races on Saturday were kind of favoring closers. You had Dunbar Road, you had Maxfield, and you had a couple of other horses come from behind, so we'll see how that shakes out as they run the next time. But Maxfield, uh, there's talk of him maybe going to the Belmont. I highly doubt it. I think they'll point for the Keeneland uh, the Bluegrass Stakes, if they run that meet on July 12th, he'd be 3-5 to five in that spot. He'd then be 4-4. Four to four. That way you can either go to the Travers, you can go to the Jim Dandy, and or, you know, train straight up to the Kentucky Derby. He's proven he can fire fresh. He's proven he's got the class. Uh, he may just want to kind of see how what some of the other horses do if the big three go in the Belmont. So that's a look. The Matt Wynn Stakes, Maxfield now 3-for-3. Three three. New York Central possibly considering the Belmont and Pneumatic. I wouldn't be surprised to see him in the Bluegrass Stakes at Keeneland in July. That's a look at the Matt Wynn Stakes leading up to the 2020 Belmont Stakes.